Tonight, on the eve of the first public impeachment hearing, the evidence is overwhelming. The Democrats have shown their true colors, choosing politics over country. They are deliberately leading us into uncharted, challenging territory, geopolitically, and if they get their way, <laughs> economically as well. Good evening, everyone. I am Trish Regan. Here we are just hours away from Adam Schiff's big dream. He finally gets to be center stage in a movie that he's been attempting to script ever since 2016. Did you know that when Adam Schiff was a young assistant attorney living in Hollywood years ago, he used to spend hours at the library studying the script of the horror film Silence of the Lambs in order to write his own little crime thriller? Eventually he went into politics and what do you know, this, tomorrow, is his big moment. He's attempting to be the chief storyteller in this fictional charade designed to sabotage President Trump while simultaneously ravaging this great country. I want you to see this. This is the new cover of The Atlantic magazine titled How to Stop a Civil War. I know it's in small print there. They got the big hand with the red and the blue. How to Stop a Civil War. You know what? They are right to address this. Actually, I brought it up on this very show weeks ago after seeing anti-Trump protesters turn violent at a recent Trump rally. Now, at the time, I said we wouldn't be seeing a traditional war complete with armies and generals. But you know what we would see and we are going to see, I suspect, an emotional kind of civil strife. And that's not good for this country. We don't need to be in this divided place. Of course, when Trish Regan says it, the leftist media goes totally bonkers, accusing me of being uh, melodramatic. Take a look at the headline. Fox host ruthlessly mocked for melodramatic, insane monologue. Oh, it's insane, really? Warning of violence in the streets. But you know what? When the Atlantic says it, <laughs> they love it. I mean, ABC News is calling it, quote, provocative. Go figure on that one, hmm? Anyway, I was right. And now they're right. And you know what? I don't care who's right. The bottom line is we are in a bad place, a very bad place. Thank you, Adam Schiff. Thank you, Nancy Pelosi. Thank you, the squad. There is a total lack of tolerance right now from the left. Just last night, we told you about the Berkeley grad school teacher tweeting that rural Americans are bad people who have made bad decisions. Hillary Clinton is infamous for calling Trump supporters deplorables and others like Maxine Waters have even encouraged physical attacks. 